going on everyone? Dark Side Phil here and welcome to Release Day Unboxing for March 12th, 2013. And uh, already if you're watching this video you might be saying I'm a little confused. What's going on? What is that that I see in front of me? Well, we're going to explain a little bit <laughs> when I get to it here. Um, major releases this week. This whole month of March has been pretty insane so far. We're only in the second week. Um, basically, we've got some huge releases. God of War Ascension, the prequel to the God of War series. I'm going to burp. Hold on. Okay, excuse me. Which a lot of people are looking forward to, both my live stream and my direct capture videos on YouTube. Okay? And then on the right, which you probably can't see because of the glare from my lamp. Let's see if I could turn it a little bit so you can see it. StarCraft 2, no, that's even worse. StarCraft 2, Heart of the Swarm for PC. Okay? And already, I know a lot of people are saying I'm confused because Phil. You didn't mention in your week in preview, you didn't say, you, in fact, for weeks you've been saying you're probably not going to play StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm. <sighs> I went to GameStop today, and they had it. I forgot that I reserved the collector's edition of the game. So they had an extra, you know, not an extra one, but they had mine sitting there, and I would have, number one, I would have really felt like a dick if I didn't pick it up, because they're probably not going to sell it. They don't sell a lot of PC games out of GameStop. Uh, and number two, I'm going to be honest with everyone, I do want to play the campaign of the game. I'm actually not even too keen on multiplayer. Like, I, I don't want to get destroyed online. But I do kind of want to play the campaign of the game. I enjoyed the campaign of StarCraft to uh, Wings of Liberty. But, until last week, I was thinking that maybe it wasn't worth my time because I know, number one, it's extremely long, okay? The campaign of StarCraft to... Uh, Wings of Liberty was something like a ridiculously long game. I think it was 80 to 100 parts. I can't remember specifically, but very fucking long. But in addition to that, I don't. I, up until this past week, I didn't do direct capture, and so my major gripe was: uh, if I'm going to do this playthrough, people are going to complain. Oh, I can't see. Everything's too small. Oh, I can't read the text. It's too blurry. You're using a cam. This sucks. And it wasn't going to be worth my time to do an extended playthrough of the campaign of the game because of those reasons. But now that I've adopted Direct Capture, it's kind of like this is the time to play a game like StarCraft II, Heart of the Swarm. Because now I can do Direct Capture, you'll be able to read the text, everything will be good. <sighs> so I was like, you know what? Uh, I don't know when I'm going to play it. This week is insanely busy for me already, okay? With stuff going on. But I've caved and I bought it. Alright? Now, a little more info in this video, I'm going to explain you know, what I, my plans are for it, and when the hell I'm going to play it, so stay tuned. But anyway, this is an unboxing video, so rather than me ranting for 100 years, let's actually get to unboxing. So first we have God of War Ascension, Collector's Edition for the PS3, and right on top you get a nice sticker. Oh, if you trade in this game within one month, you get $30 credit. So you only get half your money back if you trade it in within a month. Wow, thanks GameStop. The bottom line is, those deals are bullshit. Um, a lot of those deals... If you trade in multiple games, like I did today, actually today I traded in a shitload of games. I actually traded in Tomb Raider, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, a bunch of other stuff. Yes, I know I didn't play the multiplayer of Tomb Raider. I don't care. I heard the multiplayer is complete ass. I don't have time to play it, and I don't want to play it anyway. So, I traded in a bunch of games towards these, and I got 30% bonus credit. I actually got more than $30 credit for Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, when last month the guarantee was that you would get 30 bucks, I got more than 30 bucks back for it. So those, those guarantees of trading in quickly are kind of bullshit, especially if you have multiple games to trade in, you can get more than that anyway, okay? So God of War Ascension Collector's Edition. What does it come with? It comes with exclusive access to the Last of Us demo, which I'm very interested in, and I don't know when that's going to be out. I'm, I'm sure we're going to have to look inside for details. The God of War Ascension soundtrack. Steelbook case, which every game comes with now, no one really cares. But a six inch Kratos statue, that's really the key here uh, of what you get extra. And it was only 20 bucks extra for this collector's edition, so that's not bad. A soundtrack, uh, access to a demo that no one else is going to get access to, and a statue. So let's see what we've got here. We've got a God of War Steelbook case. Okay. I'm going to open it over here because I'm sure there's a thousand codes that I have to hide here. 
<laughs> so there's a code for the Last of Us demo. Let's see. Wow, there's actually character Zeus and Isaac Clark are playable in PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. What the fuck would I want that code for? What are you, stupid? Oh my god. That is really stupid. Two characters in a game that's not this game, but you get it with this, whatever. Uh, the Last of Us demo doesn't have a date when it's going to be available, but it says that you can actually pre-download it beforehand, I guess. Okay? That's interesting. And then we've got the God of War Ascension Collector's Edition content, which gives you the online pass activation code, the official game soundtrack that's downloadable, 48-hour multiplayer XP booster, a PS3 dynamic theme. That's kind of cool. I'll probably install that today. A PlayStation Network avatar pack, and a pass for future DLC releases. So that's what you get in the collector's edition, okay? So show the inside. You've got, on the left, some nice cool artwork of some guy in armor. I don't know who it's supposed to be. On the right, the game disc, and then behind the game disc, some more art in the steelbook case. Pretty nice, okay? So that's the game itself, and then... And then, the main attraction, of course, the Kratos six-inch statue. It's not an action figure, it's a statue, okay? It doesn't move. Actually, it's two, look at this, his arms are separate from the body. This is a neat thing. This is this hand. Okay, one hand. Remember, it's not an action figure. An action figure is a toy. This is a statuette. I believe that's what they call it. When you're a big person, you don't call your toys toys anymore, and that way people don't make fun of you even though they really are toys. Damn, he doesn't really stand on this fucking thing. I've only got one foot in, and he does stand on it anyway, but the other foot won't fit in. I don't know what they did. The legs don't seem to be the right width to actually fit on it. I don't know what they did there. That's kind of weird. I'd have to fuck around with this for a while to try to get both feet attached. And I really don't feel like fucking around with it for a hundred years. Oh, there we go. There we go. I got it. It is flexible. It's made of some kind of plastic or, or something. Vinyl rather than, uh, you know, a, a hard glass or anything like that, like a, a, a statue. So there it is, the Kratos statuette. Let me see if I can bring it closer so you can see it. Okay, and then you turn them around. Pretty nice. Not bad for 20 extra bucks. Okay, so that's that. That is the God of War Ascension Collector's Edition. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the game that I didn't even foresee buying, but I ended up buying it anyway, because I'm a sucker, and I really actually do want to play the campaign, I just don't know when I'm going to do it, okay, so let's talk a little bit, I'm going to unbox it, but as I pack this up, the bottom line is this week I've got a shit ton of stuff already on the agenda, I've got God of War Ascension, which I'm definitely playing, okay, I've got, hmm. how the fuck does this go together, oh, like this, I've got Naruto, which I've been playing, and it looks like I'm going to beat it today. I almost beat it last night, except that the game was being a complete ass. The last chapter is like fucking four hours long. And I'm in the last boss fight. I should beat it today. But that's going to take like at least two days to upload the remainder of the footage of Naruto. Okay? In addition to that, I've got the Mass Effect 3 Citadel DLC that I play. And that I've got to upload. So, already I've got enough footage between God of War and those two games. I've got enough footage to probably last me until the end of the week. So even if I do have time and I start playing StarCraft 2, 
I don't know when on earth I'm going to be uploading the footage. Okay? I just don't know. There's too much stuff out this week. Too much in one week. And this is what happens. They usually do it during the hardcore gaming season. But this year they loaded it up in the first quarter of the year because they realized that PlayStation 4 and possibly the next Xbox are coming out later this year. So all these companies rushed out their current gen games early in the year and everyone's getting fucked over. It's a cutthroat business and no, you know, all these games are hurting each other because they're all coming out so quickly. In fact, there's another game that came out this week, Sniper Ghost Warrior 2. This is a game that I had on reserve for over a year, okay? The game got delayed repeatedly. It got delayed an entire fucking year, okay? And it came out today. No one's going to buy that game. Nobody. No one. Not with all the releases coming out this week. StarCraft, God of War, the first Dead Space 3 expansion. You've got Darkstalkers, which is a fighting game. All these games are coming out this week. Who the fuck's going to play Sniper Ghost Warrior 2? So that game kind of got dicked over. But anyway, here it is. StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm. The ultimate Heart of the Swarm experience. What do you get? You get a behind-the-scenes DVD and Blu-ray set. You get an art book. You get the StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm PC and Mac game. You get the Zerg Rush mouse pad, which I'm actually going to use as my mouse pad. I think mine's kind of worn out. Um, exclusive in-game content. You get a StarCraft 2... Tor Torask, Ultralisk, and Portrait. So basically you get an Ultralisk that looks a little different from the regular Ultralisk in the game, but it's the same thing. And you get some portraits. It's bullshit. It's nothing. You get a World of Warcraft pet Baneling. Who the fuck cares about World of Warcraft? And then you get a Diablo 3 Bane Wings and Banner Sigil. Guess what? Who the fuck cares about Diablo 3? What Blizzard is attempting to do with this Collector's Edition is cross-sell you their other games, which is a pathetic attempt. I mean, Blizzard, come on, those games, first of all, World of Warcraft's been out for a decade, what the fuck, you're still trying to push that game down people's throats, and Do Diablo 3, yeah, had kind of not as good expect or, uh, not as good reviews and not as good uh, sales performance as Blizzard wanted because the game is kind of crappy. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it, it's, it's good, but it's not a great game, it's not as good as Diablo 2 and, and Diablo 1. So, you know... They basically are trying to sell games, more additional games, by giving you content in a collector's edition. You're like, what the fuck do I need that for? So anyway, let's open it. Buy collector's edition. Get items for other games. That's what just happened with God of War 2. You get two characters for fucking PlayStation All-Stars. Who the fuck cares? I don't have PlayStation All-Stars anymore. I traded that shit in months ago. <laughs> that game sucks. It really does. Okay. Heart of the Swarm. Look at this. The box opens so oddly. Look at that. Huh. Okay. So. Behind the scenes of Heart of the Swarm. Join the developers of Blizzard Entertainment as they share the behind-the-scenes details on the creation of StarCraft II's finest expansion, or first expansion, Heart of the Swarm. And it says there's DVD video and Blu-ray disc. Okay, you get that. I'll probably open it too. And just so everybody knows, a couple of years ago, some asshole fucked up my Battle.net account. I don't know how they managed to do it, but basically they got it locked, and I couldn't get into it. But last year, because I wanted to play Diablo III... I actually went through the recovery process and I did get my account back. So my Battle.net Darkside Field account does still exist. Okay, so you've got the Blu-ray and the DVD of the behind the scenes content right here. Alright, guest passes. Let's see what these are. A guest pass for StarCraft II Wings of Liberty who cares? Who cares about StarCraft II Wings of Liberty? What is this nonsense? Why would you want to play the previous game? Oh my god. Yeah, they give you four guest passes. I don't even care if anyone saw the code, by the way. They give you four guest passes. Two for StarCraft II Wings of Liberty and two for World of Warcraft. Who the fuck cares? Idiots. Okay, so fuck all that nonsense. Here's your mouse pad. The Zerg Rush mouse pad. 
See if I can move it closer. Pretty nice. Okay. You've got your soundtrack. Okay, the game soundtrack. It's only 11, 11 tracks. Your game DVD, which I'll open very quickly. I'm running out of time on my camera, by the way. My battery is a piece of shit. It claimed it was fully charged, and now it's telling me that it has no charge and it's about to die. So I apologize if the camera shuts off, everybody. I'm almost done. Okay. So, StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm. There's your game. There's your disc. On the other side is the CD key, but I'm not going to show you that, obviously. And then, your art book is right here. I'm not seeing anything else inside, now that I'm looking. I thought there were supposed to be codes to put in the Ultra Disc and stuff, but maybe that comes with your your game DVD, or your game uh, code. Here you go. StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm has a metallic cover, art book. It's a big art book, too. It's pretty thick. As you can see, it is pretty thick. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing. But just to show you some of it, art from the game. Concept art, etc, etc. The Protoss. So it's a pretty neat art book. So for a collector's edition, again, this one was $79.99, only 20 bucks extra. It's not bad for getting a, a pretty nice art book. You're getting the whole soundtrack, you're getting a mouse pad. Not bad collector's edition, all in all. I actually like it. And then, last but not least, I do want to mention that for pre-ordering at GameStop, I got a code for God of War Ascension. It is a, a code called the Champions Pack. But I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's a couple extra characters for the multiplayer. So, that is it for release day unboxing. For March 12, 2013, I hope you enjoyed the video. Quite a lot of content. If you want to watch me later today, I'm going to be doing a live stream of God of War Ascension on Twitch TV slash Darkside Phil. So you can check that out. Um, I will be announcing on my Twitter and Facebook when I'll be starting that. It actually all depends on how long this video takes to encode and upload. Um, so that's going to be earlier in the day, probably earlier afternoon, and then later tonight I'll be playing Naruto, uh, uh, Shippuden, Ultimate Ninja Storm 3, and beating it because I'm on the final boss fight right now. But it was so fucking long I didn't have a chance to finish it last night. And so today on DSP Gaming, you're going to see the, the premiere of God of War Ascension uploading the playthrough, and then also you're going to see some more Naruto videos. I don't know when the hell I'm going to play StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm. I'm, ex I, I'm actually interested in doing it. I don't know when I'm going to have a chance yet. I will have to update everyone later on in this week after I, I play things and upload things and see how far I get, and I'll give everyone an update on when I'll be doing that stuff. Okay, everybody? So thanks for watching Release Day Unboxing. Please join me for live streaming and uh, direct capture gameplay both on Twitch TV and YouTube. I'll see you for gameplay this week. Peace out.